Hi, I'm Brenton from Loophole, and today I'm going to show you how to install our standard mounting system. Before you start, make sure your firearm is unloaded and there's no ammunition present. You'll also want to remove any oil or grease from the top of the receiver before mounting. You may need to remove the screws located on top of the receiver as well. Begin by setting the rear base on the rear of the receiver and align the screw holes in the base with the holes on the receiver. For this model, you'll know it's the rear base because it has the winded screws on it. For the dual dovetail base, it has the dovetailed slot. Insert the screws through the holes in the base and tighten them down finger tight. Next, set your torque wrench to 22 inch pounds for 648 screws or 28 inch pounds for 840 screws and torque the screws until your wrench clicks. Set the front base onto the front of the receiver and align the screw holes in the base with the holes on the receiver. Once again, insert the screws through the holes and tighten them down finger tight. Torque the front base screws to the appropriate setting. Now, Insert the dovetail on the bottom of the ring into the base. The ring should be in line with the barrel for it to fit. Use a ring wrench to rotate the front ring 90 degrees until it's perpendicular to the barrel. Loosen the windage screws on the rear base. One full turn should be enough. Set the rear ring on the rear base and center it. For the dual dovetail bases, you'll follow the same process as the front rings. Begin tightening the winded screws a quarter turn at a time, alternating from one side to the other until it's tight. Install your alignment bars. Tighten the screws just enough so that the bars are secure. Now you can adjust the rings to make sure they're aligned. Adjust the front ring by rotating the ring and the rear ring by adjusting the windage screws. Once aligned, torque the windage screws to 45 inch pounds. Remove the ring tops and the alignment bars. Set your scope in the rings. The scope should freely slide with minimal resistance. If there's resistance, the rings are not properly aligned and you'll need to go through the alignment bar process again. Install the ring tops and tighten down the screws loosely. Rotate the magnification power to the highest magnification setting on the scope. Use a mounting level to verify that the rifle is level. Address the rifle and establish a good cheek weld where the stock fits comfortably. Slide the scope forward and back until you've established a good sight picture with no scope shadow or vignetting. Place your level on top of the adjustment housing and level the scope to the rifle. Tighten the front ring until the screws are snug. Begin torquing the front ring screws, alternating back and forth to make sure that the scope stays level. Tighten the rear ring top the same way. And now, your standard mount is installed and ready to go. For more information about loophole mounts, head over to loophole.com.